Alrighty, so yeah, we left off with the Avatar um, Basically, we were all done except for the head. I got the base the base just there's this little piece of fire uh, That you can either glue on or not I guess uh, but I'll probably be painting it without him glued on so um, But you do want to get the base done at some point uh, most of my bases are still empty, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, they give you a nice base. Uh, you can see the the rune in there, which is pretty cool. Um, but we'd gotten pretty much all the way up to this part, and we talked about the neck and all. And what I did was, uh, I think you wouldn't have much of a problem. There we go. You won't have much of a problem changing heads if you wanted. Now the arm, you could do the arm uh, pretty easy with just a magnet, uh, but I don't know why you'd, you want anything but the the sword. Um, that is the you know the original Wailing Doom, and I can never get him back in there. So, so I mean, I just glued the sword on and everything. I saved the pieces because I might well there might want to maybe practice something. Uh, for the flame effect, but uh, but what I did do, so I just went ahead and made all three heads, and uh, and I have to apologize because uh, when I was fixing these videos up on my computer, uh, we lost power like every like ten minutes. It was it was stupid, and I was losing progress and all that, and I got mad and uh, just kind of turned it off, and uh, I made all three heads off camera because I figured I would never go back because uh, I was done but um, but I did go back I did make these guys um, this is really this one is probably the worst head because of how it glues um, there's a seam there like right in his face and it's pretty nasty um, I haven't done too much work with it because I'll probably not use this I might paint it just for fun but really all you should have to do so you can probably fix it up here pretty well. You're just going to have to go in there with the sanding stick. And a little bit, not too much, because you don't want to... It's like there's so much detail in there. Um, I just don't know why they did that to the face. It's really, really hard to get a good seam in there. Um, and then grab your old toothbrush here. And that should... Uh, get off all the like the plastic dust yeah I mean that that's looking a lot better this side's not not so much I'd have to drop just a little bit of glue down on there again oops I, I got miniatures all over the place I would like 25 or so wraith guard I've had for uh, since since they were Wraith Guard available, and uh, they've all been put together, I base coated them, and they're all, but I think I'm actually starting to get a little bit more comfortable painting, and uh, so I've started painting them. Sorry, I'm not quite on. Oh man, I always forget how strong this glue is. Oh, it's stinky. Okay, so that that should take care of uh, this guy because that, that was a nasty nasty seam there this guy wasn't bad at all his, his head like went on real easy and there's there's really no seam you can see because it looks just like his hair um, and he's got a nice scary face there if you like faces if you don't like faces you know like use the helmets but here's the piece de resistance, the one I'll definitely be using, and the neck that I put in to match it. And the necks aren't that different. You don't really have to worry about um, if you want to be able to exchange. And this guy, again, uh, the seam is like right in the back there. And it actually looks kind of normal. So I didn't really do too much with it. Uh, you won't be able to see it all that much. Um, these, oops. Okay, I mean, I had these heads going. Yeah, the heads actually fit on pretty well. 
without even gluing. I mean, you won't be able to pick them up by the head, but you probably shouldn't do that anyway. And they all look pretty good. Because I was thinking, you know, just for the, the hell of it, um, you could like start the game with like this helmet, you know, the big helmet, and then like he loses five wounds or something and you put the small helmet on to be like, oh, he's wounded. And then like at the end, like just before he dies, because you know, he's a Eldar and all my Eldar die. Um, you can put the bear head on to show he's he's uh, almost dead. So that was just my little thought. But yeah, the helmets aren't bad. This one's the worst. You just got to be be uh, vigilant and uh, number one, lay in some uh, a good amount of glue to help uh, melt that a lot of plastic. So then, when you go to sand it off, uh, the plastic will be there. Um, but that's really it. And there's a lot of sanding on this guy. All these angles. I've got round, uh, a round metal uh, file that I've had for ages. I back. I have been. I probably said this before, but yeah. I mean, I've been making models. You know, making uh, fighter jet models and old uh, like. P38 Mustangs, all that kind of stuff for a long time. So I've got tools that are geez, probably older than most of the people watching these videos. So, uh, but, but yeah, so that's the end. That's the Avatar. Uh, I think he's damn sexy. I love him. And I think I showed this in the other one. But yeah, I mean, there's where he came. All right. That's that, you know, how how it started, how it's going. So he's, he's going pretty good now. Um, yeah, no, I never did paint it. And I still got his headdress. It just, I never glued it on because I know it's just going to fall off. But this plastic, much better GW. Thank you so much. Um, and I know hopefully with 10th we'll get, uh, we'll get some remodels. Uh, I'm looking at, uh, what are they called? The spider guys. Warp spiders. Ha, huh, that's what they're called. Yeah, I'd really like to see, like, actually, all my warp spiders, they're all metal. Uh, and so are these guys, I was telling you. Those are my Wraith Guard. All metal. I've got one uh, squad of five that I made for some reason. I made them close combat. I know they're not the best, but just for the heck of it. Um, so, yeah, so there's the Avatar in all his glory. And uh, might as well just make his heads. Why not? You can always uh, stick a rod up there to paint them and uh, you know, go to town. And you can practice. Like on this guy, you can kind of practice for his helmet, how you're going to paint the helmet. And this guy, you can kind of practice like on the hair, how you want to get his hair. Because it should be black and white stripe, remember? Um, so, yeah. Hope you liked it. Hope this helped. Uh, there weren't... I can also say, because I've been doing this for so long, that uh, these new models are fantastic. Uh, they are so much better. Uh, even the uh, the old style Marines that you get in the, like 40K boxes, they've they've improved. I mean, even something this similar, simple, and uh, similar to what they have now, they're, they've gotten so much better. I, I had the original. Oh, it was the Knights of Chaos box, I think it was. It was a smallish box um, uh, full of metal chaos, like, Warhammer battle guys. Oh, my God. Those are so bad. And they, they were the pewter lead kind of combo. They're terrible. Uh, but I mean, even these, these guys are terrible. They're, they're just awful because um, it's just like a big block. Uh, I mean, when you compare just these two they're unbelievably much better uh in plastic so they've really hopefully um can update some of the avatar not the avatar but some of the eldar models that'd be great but i'm just rambling uh you guys thanks for watching and uh up next i think i might have my daughter come help pick out what to do next because i know everybody's you know got that leviathan box 
and maybe we make a little break and do a Tyranid model. I don't know, uh, but uh, we'll see. Thanks for watching. Take care. Talk to you later.